Good morning traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is August 1st, 2018 and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day out of United Kingdom, we're starting at 10.30 South African time, manufacturing PMI number coming out. Now the GBP has been flat, uh, but we'll take a look at that in just a moment. And then every other economic news coming out today is coming out of the United States. And we have initially ADP non-farm employment change. Now that's the pre non-farm payroll numbers that come out so it is an important number it's coming out at 215 south african time and then that's followed up with a four o'clock number ism manufacturing pmi number coming out and then weekly oil inventories numbers coming out at 4 30 south african time we'll take a look at oil in just a moment and lastly and most importantly fomc rate statement coming out later this evening at 8 p.m south african time much anticipated and we'll take a look at the market there so lots of news coming out of the united states later today so very important news with the fomc rate statement as we've looking like we've capitulated in some of the indices you know just ready to either take it above or to sell off but let's take a look at the markets and see what's been happening this conference will now be recorded so we're initially starting out with the euro usd and guess what happened once again we've been trading between these two ranges 116.21 and yesterday we we bounced off of that range we mentioned that that could take it out higher and sure enough it did capitulated to 117.43 guess what that's our number again and you could just see the wick right there that it hit it and then sold right off i mean this you can't write this stuff up i mean this is just so easy to trade this type of market in this type of range look how many times we hit this 1743 ish level okay this is our fourth time already all right so this is really an important level to actually be in now we're trading right at the middle smack in the middle of this so less of an opportunity right now to jump into it but as we get closer to the 1621 that might actually look like something interesting now your go-to trade today will probably be the Dow Jones if you're looking to trade the FOMC and the reason is is because the Dow Jones is most directly to the FOMC rate statement the stock market is probably the most directed to it as well so you know although you know everybody goes to the forex symbols you might want to look at the Dow Jones today and let's take a look at that in just a moment but let's see a GBP you see it's been flatlining okay 3109 here nothing really doing okay so we're not going to spend so much time on this right now but just for you to be aware of where it's going today okay maybe this manufacturing PMI number might have some influence on it later today may bounce a little bit here since we do have a minor support at this 13109 ish level now jumping into the Swiss franc again this was a really big trade yesterday I mentioned this right down here we had this support level 9969 ish level as you can see you go look at the daily review from a couple of days ago you'll see that we called this out okay and sure enough we rallied right afterwards okay to 9922 ish level so a nice little rally there all together so just keep this in mind uh, right now we're just in the middle of that rally so not much to you know jump into it right now but if we do get closer to the upper level there that's something to consider as the week progresses now jumping into the Japanese yen nice little rally we had right now and this is after our decent sell-off and as you can see capitulated down here at 110 ish level and kind of consolidated and then finally bounced back okay the, it's really hard to jump into one of these type of trades okay uh, especially since it is a rally but considering you know that it did sell off so strong you know it's actually anticipated to jump up later today so look at that as this continues to trade later today now looking at oil we broke this you know trend line on the upside you know because they are increasing inventory we did mention this yesterday that they are increasing the inventory and so the sell-off is quite understood you know and taken into consideration here we're trading at 68.37 so later today okay we're at a support line right now so we could get rid of this trend line but we are at a support line right now so just consider you know maybe we'll bounce off later today with those numbers coming out now jumping into the Dow Jones if we look at that we see that we're at the top of this level 25,589 I mean we've sold off over a thousand points several times since our debacle back in um, February okay but this is a soft resistance level okay now if we do break above this level okay and there's some you know 
some sort of surprise in the markets, which I don't think that there will be, okay, then we could definitely get back to this 25,900-ish level uh, closing into 26,000, okay? That might happen if we do break out above this level. However, if we do start selling off, your support level is 24,969. That's your first support level. And then second support level, 24,670-ish level on the downside. So keep that in mind, you know, as the day progresses. Now, looking at the other indices in the United States, if we look at the NASDAQ, it got kind of weak, okay? Uh, it did sell off, like we mentioned before, but, you know, kind of bounced off a couple of days, okay, about 70 to 100 points on the upside. Um, but it's really just trading in tandem to the stocks, okay? Uh, the real strong stock out of all of them is Google. Okay, Google trading at 112.17-ish level, just mildly off of its highs, okay, of 1271-ish level. So, you know, this has really been the strongest one. As you can see, it's closed its gap, okay, so it might be a decent place actually to buy this right here, okay, uh, in anticipation that it's going to get higher, okay. Obviously, putting a very tight stop loss, at possibly a 1208-ish level, you know, in case it does correct itself on the downside but if we look at Amazon it it sold off quite sharply okay about a hundred points okay so much stronger the Google is much stronger than Amazon as you can see you know as the market sold off Google didn't sell off as much and Amazon sold much more you know you could argue that you know Google is going to play catch-up you could okay but at the end of the day you know Google's been sustaining itself as the market's been selling off you know vis-a-vis -vis, you know the trade against uh, the Nasdaq so looking at Facebook right now as you can see we're just consolidating here at 172 this is really a tricky trade because at the end of the day you know a big sell-off you know fund managers are trying to you know sell off the market what they do have you know if if they believe that it's going to sold off okay mark zuckerberg by the way okay this is a little bit tidbit is he's selling off his his shares okay he's selling off big if you look at you know insider sales okay you could do a search on facebook insider sales and he's selling something like 50 million shares you know almost on a daily basis okay since since this has been going on for the past five six months so you know that's usually a red flag you know when somebody wants to get out of their stock especially if he's an insider in such big numbers you know and cash that in i mean ultimately Facebook is going to face some sort of regulation down the line, so it's going to it's going to have an impact on the bottom line. The question is, is how much? Now, jumping lastly to Bitcoin, we had a little bit of a sell-off yesterday from 83.47 down to 73.94, so a nice thousand-point move on the downside. Now we're closing in on a support level here, so just be aware of that. You know, as we get closer to that support level, let's look at it on a one-hour chart. Okay, 73.94 is our support level, so just keep that in mind. OK, might want to, you know, jump into it if it doesn't, you know, sustains this this level and doesn't break through it, you know, in anticipation that it might jump above. So, you know, lots happening today, lots of news coming out today. Just, you know, be sure to play stop losses. OK, and make sure to protect yourself in these type of volatile markets. You know, your go to is really the the Dow Jones. So just be aware of that. OK, uh, but. You know, it could go either way today, so just be very careful the way you trade. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.